Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. This is our little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. This particular episode is kind of a rambling episode. We're gonna go get some uh, stuff for dinner. And something that came to my attention today, my brother had long been pondering the question he heard on uh, a popular TV show called The Big Bang Theory. Or one of the particular characters, Wallowitz, uh, no, not Wallowitz, um, Pusa Polly, questioned where does Aquaman poop? And I, just recently Netflix saying the Super War Friends Wonder Hour, found out and I sent a text. The whole point of this rambling is I sent a text saying that Aquaman can poop in his secret underwater lab. And then I realized, boy, if I sent that to the wrong person by accident, that would have been a really stupid text. <laughs> but my brother was completely appreciative of it. Yeah. Which brings me to my point that I think all of these modern day superheroes with the big reality of the superheroes in these movies and TV shows is kind of killing the original charm and delusion of the animation, the original animation. Yeah. To a point. This goes back to Christopher Nolan. I don't even want to start on that rant again. But that is just way over the top. We don't need that much explanation, do we? Well, you know, I mean, there, are, like you said, there are many different interpretations of Batman. And you'll accept that one as an interpretation. I do. And an excellent interpretation. And um, you know, you're just over waiting. The top, but you know. Yeah, you're just waiting for the next one to come out. So yes. Well, in some rule, it will end that whole thing, and then they can reboot it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are we looking too difficult into this reality? I mean, maybe Adam West had it right with the Batman the movie. Well, you know, with the shark attacks, and then he whips out the bat shark repellent. What I was going to say was yes. Um, mm -hmm. You can take a look at, of course back in the 1950s when they had like Superman the serials or the TV show faster than a speeding bullet more powerful than a locomotive able to leap tall buildings at a single bound look up in the sky it's a bird it's a plane it's Superman with, with uh, not Christopher Reeve but George Reeves I mean it was very simple it was just yeah, they were cunning. They, they were, were cool. They were cool. It was simple. It wasn't elaborately done. It worked. It wasn't like the Green Hornet series where it was like okay. 15 episodes and they all were interconnected. Funny, isn't it, Cato? What, Mr. Britt? When we built this secret garage to construct our super speech, do we never thought it would become the lair for a modern Robin Hood? Well, the reason why they did it that way back in the 1950s, I mean, to back in the 1930s and 40s, is because that was the way that it was like that was like a TV show equivalent to. Yes. And then when, of course, television came out, that's when they started doing the exact same thing with TV. It was very cookie cutter. It wasn't very elaborately done. It was just here it fun. is. It was just fun. You didn't have to go into the psychological plot of of, of Batman seeing his but you parents could. killed. You could if you wanted to. Uh, they weren't going to have Bruce Wayne's parents kill the 1966 version of Batman. No anybody, way. Anybody who wanted to know that would have, would have already known that. Exactly. From the comic book, so. It was, he's Batman, here's an action show. It was definitely more of an innocent time, uh, mm -hmm. crossing over to Marvel, back over to Marvel. I mean, in the early Spider-Man comic books, they actually make a reference uh, to where Peter Parker lives. And it's an actual real address, as you know, Nigel and I went there. But it was cool. Because yeah. like on the window there was a spider web iron cast iron thing, but you can't really see it because the front of the house has got overgrown with trees and bushes. Well, right now it is. It could he could have chopped them down for all I know, but I'm just yeah. saying at the time he probably let them grow so that people wouldn't notice his house, awesome. so he could have some privacy. Yeah, because you can't Google it or anything. When movies started really doing comic books, like when Superman the movie came out in '78, mm -hmm. that's when they started to be a little bit more elaborate with the telling of the stories of characters. You know, Christopher Reeve and Superman, the movie. Well, I mean... You got to see more stuff. The thing is, that is like a, was like a golden opportunity because not only could they tell the story, they had a whole lot of story to tell. They introduced the baby landing on Earth for the first yeah. time. I don't think that's ever been portrayed anywhere else. You never saw but it. Yet you, but yet you knew it because of the comic books. Yeah. And you knew he was from a planet you know, with the, and the ice crystals and all that, but you never got to see it, and, you know, you got to see it with the movie, which was cool. Even, like, the Wonder Woman 1970s TV 
TV show was exactly the same. He didn't have to be a big, huge fan of the comic books to really no. get into it. He just watched it, it every week. By season two, when they changed it to the new Avengers of Wonder Woman, where she was now in the 70s, and she was actually the same character, but the guy was like the son of the guy before. If that makes sense, it makes sense if you know what I'm If you watch the show, you know what it makes sense. It kind of became a week to week adventure. And they turned it into a crime solving mystery yeah. Yeah, they did. kind of thing. And, but season one, I think, is pretty cool because there were a couple of part one, part two, or is it they kind of... Yeah, they did, a, they did a couple of those. They would do that occasionally. And they, and they touched on the, um, the, the the World War and the Nazis and stuff like that. Oh, it was yeah. kind of like a, you know, it was definitely cool because it was like a 70s TV show, but it was like a period piece TV show. It was a TV show in the 70s about the 40s. And in season two, they brought the show to the 70s. And now when you look back on that, that's a time period piece because now we're, you know, today it's, it's old. It's like 40 years old now. Well, yeah. I mean, there's obviously some dating to that. But the other thing is, in the comic book story of Wonder Woman, all the story kept modern and true. She ages and changes very, very slowly. So that aspect of the TV show worked. That's the second small animal Drew's almost killed in this oh, look, look, short trip to the store. Look, the first the bird flew right down in front of me, and then the squirrel ran right in front of me. You kill the bastards. They deserve it. You're going to run out in front of a perfectly good car. We've only been here around 100 years driving cars. Another thing, too, is if you take a look at the toys. Like, I was in the That's Entertainment a couple of days ago. They have a kind of a charm to them, but a pointless charm. Yeah, but they had, they had like, a Superman toy. They had a jet for Superman. And I was, like, thinking to myself, why does Superman need a jet? But, of course, back then, he really didn't care. He just had an action figure, and he had a jet for that action figure. Well, I just saw an episode where an meteor, right? And I was heading towards the Earth, and he was losing his powers the closer he came to the Earth. So, it might have actually come in handy. But I do know what he's saying. I mean, I saw one time a, um, uh, a motorcycle for the Hulk. Oh, yeah. Like, really? And it was a Spider-Man I was going to say, this, this, no, the Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man had a motorcycle, too. <laughs> yes. I mean, all of these things, you've got to, yeah, you, you got to point out to them, because they are kind of like, pointless and weird. But yeah. one of the greatest thought out ideas is giving Wonder Woman the invisible jet because oh. can you imagine that flying overhead and looking up at that? Can you imagine the play the, the, it would come it would come in an empty box. I think it would be awesome. She's just sitting there like do 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 why is she sitting? She's not like flying with her hands forward. You can take a look at like the Super Friends from the 1970s. The animation. I mean, you know, it was very simple. It, you know, one one, one one was even hot back then. It's just lines. The other thing too is that there's a difference between DC comic characters and Marvel characters. It's the way that their personalities have been created. There's really much more of a deeper motivation than just be a superhero. There are things that happen. Right. I mean, a lot of the Marvel has a, is a harder edge. I mean, the DC Super Friends Hour, that kind of put a sugar coating on them that they could solve a problem, you know, an asteroid could come down and you know within 10 mm. to 12 to 12 minutes, you know, Superman or Wonder Woman is going to take care of the problem. And exactly. it, it, was, it was a safe haven and it was a great commercial for the, for the product. Spider-Man had a comic cartoon. Yeah. But even those were like... As hokey as they were, they were kind of sharper and harder. You know, they dealt with a lot more issues than the DC characters did. Hey, 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 no they didn't. Well, I mean, to an extent, they did and they didn't. It had Spider-Man, Firestar, and, and Iceman. Ice oh, that's what I'm talking about. Boy, those were terrible. I hated Iceman. Oh, God, I hated him. I know, he was kind of like, it was kind of like, what the heck is he, what the heck is his I I big deal about? It was kind of cool, like, seeing him, like, frosting around everywhere. And, like, where did all that ice go? It melted. Yeah, all right, where did all that water go? In the sewer. No, it didn't. It, it went in the sewer, or it, or it helped plants grow. Oh, I'm killing this. Like this. I, I know I'm killing this. <laughs> My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. Good night. Let's go be super!